where are we gonna park tonight? I reckon somewhere down by the lake. What do you guys think? So one of the more common questions that you get, aside from how expensive was your van, is how do you park for free? So I'm gonna show you today how we use park for night and a little bit of uh, know-how to find free parking spots in the cities and in the countryside. So making sure that you stay within the law is really important. Um, so you wanna make sure that you leave only for prints and take only photographs which is super cheesy, but correct. So the rules can be different everywhere. For example, in Scotland, it's a lot more relaxed about where you can park. You can pretty much just walk up anywhere and you'll be fine. Um, in England, it's a little bit stricter. Um, so I would always recommend just Googling it, um, just wherever you're planning on going to, just a quick Google search, and then that'll let you know what all the parking rules are in that area. If you're ever super unsure, you can always just like, ask the person in the nearest residence to you if it's okay to stay there for a few days. Never feel shy to do that. Come on. So England, for example, you should technically get the landowner's permission before you park there. Um, nobody really does that though, <laughs> and you can get away with it. So like our sort of three things that we always look for to make sure that we're not going to get in trouble is the length of time that you're there, the disruption that you're causing and like the legality of it. So legally the police will get involved if you're causing an obstruction. Um, so if you're parked in front of someone's driveway or a farmer's field or something like that where you've been a nuisance, <laughs> um, the police can get involved. Other than that, length of stay, two nights maximum, then move on. Um, yeah, and your noise levels, just be socially responsible, take your little litter home, don't be loud, um, yeah. So for cities specifically, the key is arriving late and leaving early, because often you'll find, hello, <laughs> often you'll find that you're able to park between 8 and 8, or 7 and 6, or something like that. So if you arrive after that time and leave before it, then there you go, you've got yourself a free night of city parking. If you're hanging around for a while in a city, then I would recommend using um, car parks like Morrison's or Tesco's. Um, when we were in France, we stayed in car four car park the whole time that we were there essentially um so yeah have a look and see what the what the rules are in any big um shopping car parks near you because they can be super super handy well this little guy can park in here for free as long as he wants you're so cute what do you think of this caterpillar <laughs> Just make sure that you always buy some food from wherever it is that you're uh, that you're parking up, you know, just as a thanks. Okay, so then what about for wild camping? So we use an app called Park for Night to find all of our spots. Our Wi-Fi is not the best. <laughs> um, if you come across somewhere really, really nice, then you can add it on as well. Um, and you can like favorite spots, but you can see here someone's added a parking spot. Um, so there's some information with it. So it's a small lay-by, big enough for one small camper. Um, very peaceful, cost is free, number of places one. Um, so it's just got some information like that. Yeah, so a lot of them will have photos like that so you can see. Um, and it's got like ratings and stuff as well. Um, yeah, and then people will like leave their reviews on, on what they thought when they stayed there. Um, yeah, and it's just absolutely great. So you literally can search like wherever you want. Oh, I think I found a nice spot actually. Let's go. So then what 
you do if you do get that dreaded knock on the door? Just politely apologize, listen to the reason why they're moving you on and try to learn for next time. So I hope that you have enjoyed um, hearing how we find our spots. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you have some fun tips on how you find good spots for free. Um, as always, I'm down in the comments section all the time. Um, so yeah, I love you all very much and I will see you next Tuesday. Please do subscribe, it really helps the channel out. Bye!